Hi everyone, today we're going to be talking about percentages and decimals. In mathematics, a percentage, from the Latin word percentum, by 100, is a number expressed as a fraction out of 100, usually denoted using the percent symbol that is shown here. So for example, if we had the fraction 54 divided by 100, that is equivalent to 54%, and we use that percent symbol there. Example one says, Ellen and Portia decide they want to move into an apartment together. The rent for the apartment is $1,500 per month. Ellen makes $5,000 per month at her job, and Portia makes $2,000 per month at her job. Ellen and Portia are deciding on how to split up their portions of the monthly rent. Ellen thinks that they should both be paying the same amount in rent. Do you think that's fair? If they were to go with Ellen's plan, what percent of the total would each person be paying for the rent? So that first question is asking if each pay person was paying $750 out of the total $1,500, that would simplify to one half, which is also equivalent to 50 out of 100, which would tell us that each person would be paying 50% of the total rent. So Ellen and Portia would each be paying 50% of the total rent. The second question is asking something slightly different. It says, what percent of their salaries would each person be paying? So let's look at Ellen. So she would be contributing $750, and her overall monthly income is $5,000. So I'm going to go ahead and use a calculator, and I've already calculated that. So that's equal to 0.15. And the way that we convert a decimal into a percentage is by moving the decimal place over two times and then throwing on the percent symbol. So that tells us that Ellen would be paying 15% of her paycheck towards rent. And then if we're taking a look at Portia, she would be contributing $750 as well, but her total income on a monthly basis is $2,000. And so if you threw that into a calculator, that was equal to 0.375. And if you wanted to convert that to a percentage, you would move the decimal place over two places to the right. So we have 37.5%. So Portia would be paying 37.5% of her paycheck towards rent. OK. Part B says, Portia thinks that Ellen's plan is not fair and that they should be paying a portion of the rent that is based on how much each individual person makes from their job. Use mathematics to help Portia come up with a way to decide how much each of them should be paying in rent. What percentage are each of them going to pay? So one way that we could think about this is we can think about how much Ellen makes and how much Portia makes and add them together and think of it as like one big pot. And so if we were to add that together, we would add 5,000 plus 2,000, and that equals 7,000. So that's how much they make combined. So we want to think about each of their individual portions as, so Ellen's would be 5,000 over a combined 7,000, and then Portia's, her portion is 2,000 over 7,000, and we can convert both of those numbers into percentages. So we have 5,000 divided by 7,000 is equal to 0.7142. So I'm going to go ahead and just round it off to 
four decimal places. So that's 0.7142. Sorry, that should be 143. And then let's take a look. So we have 2,000 divided by 7,000. And that's going to give us 0.2857. And I want to convert both of those into percentages. So 71.43%. And then that's equal to 28.57%. So what this basically says now is that Porsche is contributing 28.57% of the total monthly income, and Ellen is providing 71.43% of their, of their total monthly income. And so another um, proposed plan that they could make is that they could then take these percentages and apply them to the $1,500 monthly rent, and they could split it up that way. So the way that we would calculate that is we know that Ellen makes 71.43% of their total income per month, and Portia makes 28.57%. And the way that we would calculate how much that would be for the 1500 is, you know, usually the word of indicates multiplication. So if we were to take 71.43% of 1500, we would multiply, but we need to convert it into a decimal first. So 0.7143 times 1500. And let's throw that into our calculator, 0 0.7143 times 1,500. That is $1,071.45. And then we will want to take 28.57% of 1,500, convert that into a decimal, and then multiply that with 1,500. So 0 2857 times 1500 gives us 42855. So this would represent Ellen's portion of the rent. And this would represent Portia's portion of the rent. So this is very much um, a decision that many couples have to make when they move into an apartment together. So it's up to you to decide which plan do you think is more fair? Should they pay the rent based off how much their income is? Or do you think that they should both be paying 50% of the rent? That's up to you. That's up for you to decide. Um, so think about that. But here's the mathematics behind it. 